Hey guys, it's Joe from Joe's Talking, and uh, I just got a new toy, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Look at this, it's so beautiful. It is in blue, the titanium, it's a lot lighter. It's nice in the hand, I have to say, and I am using the case by Peak Design. Uh, this case, I highly recommend, it's really well made. The finish is super nice. It's got, you know, it's got all these different mounting systems that you can use on your bike and different things like that. I personally just use this. I just use the pop socket magnetic thing and it pops right on there. But this is about the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I got this because I have a problem. I have gas. Oh my. Oh my. I have gear acquisition syndrome and I have it bad. Don't tell my wife. So the main reason I went ahead and bought this is because of the telephoto lens. I am of the belief that when I shoot my videos, you can tell that it's on a phone because everything is wide. But if you have a telephoto lens, you can get close-ups, you can get bokeh, and that will feel like it's not shot on a phone. Well, let's test my theory today. Today, we're just gonna run around. I got work to do. I gotta go to work. I gotta pick up a drive. And tonight, we're gonna try and go to dinner to this great place called Funky in Beverly Hills. It's one of the hottest uh, pasta places here in town. The owners have a restaurant called Mother Wolf and Felix. It is the place right now to go and hopefully we can get in. We don't have reservations, but I'm freaking old, okay? So I eat super early, which means I'm gonna get there at 5 p.m. when it opens. So hopefully we get in. Let's take this out for a spin. Good the stabilization was as I was walking. Let me know in the comments below. It's time to pick up some lunch. I'm going to Zanku Chicken, which is a super popular place here in Los Angeles. Hi there, uh, picking up for Joe. Hi. Okay, so while my wife feels the need to vacuum right now, let me use the slow motion. How's it look? I didn't think this camera was gonna be better than my 14, but it's really good. I think it is better. Okay, stop talking. <laughs> I've been working super hard on this new show. This new show that I can't talk about. Sorry guys, I can't tell you what it is. But I will tell you that I presented a cut yesterday and everyone loved it. I can't tell you how good it feels to present a cut and have it be appreciated. I worked like 14 hour days for the last three or four nights uh, just to get this thing done because the deadline was super crazy. Okay, so while I'm sitting here waiting for this footage to copy over, Let's talk about something. So I wanna talk about where I fall in the YouTube community. I think who I am is the average person because there's so many good content creators like Peter McKinnon and Maddie Hapoja, all these guys that shoot beautiful, I mean, just gorgeous, beautiful footage. But what about the regular person? We're not all gods of video like those guys. Some of us are just everyday people. And that's the stuff you're gonna see on my channel. Wait a minute, what is this mother doing? That is gross, dude. What the f Here's another one. Do you guys see that thing? What the hell is that? Ugh. There's all these bugs that are coming out here because it's a thousand degrees here in California right now. These things are everywhere. And we kind of pride ourselves on having a spotless house. Kat, what's with all the bugs? They're all over Jonah's room. Excuse me. Do you guys have something for termites? Termites. That one? Because it's like, it just, it, it does the job. I've had enough of you guys. You guys are going down. Man, this 
this guy won't die. Hey guys, so I am walking here in Beverly Hills. We're getting ready to have some dinner, but I just wanted to show you guys how good this works in low light. They make homemade pasta, check this out. You want to be my vlog about the iPhone 15 Pro Max? No. Hey guys, we are back from Beverly Hills and Funky Restaurant was phenomenal. If you guys are in Los Angeles, you gotta try it. Now, let's talk about my final thoughts about this iPhone 15 Pro Max. I like it. Now let's talk about the telephoto lens. Now, when they marketed this phone, they said it has seven lenses. It does not have seven lenses, but that 110 millimeter equivalent telephoto lens you guys saw how I was able to push in. I love doing that because it gives my videos a little bit more energy. If I want to emphasize something, I push right in. Now I know a lot of people are talking about log on this phone. I don't have time to connect it to an external hard drive, throw the Rec. 709 LUT on there to get it to the right color, and then add a LUT on top of that. It's just too much work. Now if you're curious, a lot of the vlog I shot with the ultra wide lens. I prefer, I don't like my face way up here. I like to be, a little wider, but I think what the big winner is, is the stabilization. Now, I'm not sure if the iPhone 15 improved on the stabilization of the iPhone 14, but man, when I was just walking, casually walking, it almost felt gimbal-like. When I was getting the food and when I was walking through my office, a lot of times I was literally just holding it with my keys. I wasn't positioning it in a way that make you think, because a lot of times when I shoot my videos, I like to inconspicuously hold my phone and make them think I'm just holding my phone when actually I'm shooting. So my conclusion is this, if you want to use this for vlogging, you absolutely can. And if you are just getting started with YouTube, this is an excellent camera for that. You have so many different focal lengths. It's very flexible. The stabilization is off the charts. I mean, it's hard to be. Oh, also, you get the 120 frames per second. You've got that slow motion. Do you absolutely need this iPhone? No, you don't. But it's so nice to have. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I will see you in the next video. Whew.